Hello. Uh, I'm going to show you a cool lick. They use it in country all the time. Let me just show you the lick right now. Uh, if you were playing in A, you would use this lick, country lick, on the fifth fret for the E and the B string, and then the G you'd go to the fourth fret. And you'd do something like this. Watch, watch the fingers. Push up. Hit those two. So what does it give you? Kind of a steel guitar twang. So it's a cool lick and you can add stuff to it. So I'm playing or I'm uh, getting up to speed with an existing band and uh, they're playing a, a Bob Dylan song called Lay Lady Lay. And I had to come up with kind of a twangy thing, and I don't play uh, uh, steel guitar. So the song goes like, starts in an A, and then it goes to a C sharp minor, and a G, B. So you got a A, C sharp minor, B, C, B, G, I'm sorry, and a B. So I'm trying to figure out how do I use this country lick that's to kind of get that steel guitar sound. Well, we know that at the fifth and the fourth fret, that's in A. If you come down to the twelfth fret, twelfth and eleventh, this would be C minor, C sharp. If you go to the second, uh, uh, third and second fret, that's G. If you go to the tenth and ninth, that's B. So imagine playing. The, the lead I came up with for that particular song using this country lick and it's a cool lick uh, now here when you're doing this G you're gonna and you hit the open G then come down to the 10 and 9 Cool little lick. The only trick is finding out where do you play it. Where do you play it for the chords in the song that you're trying to do? And that's kind of a challenge, uh, but it's something that I think you can do. So uh, that's the lick for today. It's a cool lick. <laughs> And obviously, uh, it, it, I think I, I think this would be any any country song in G. I mean, you could just go on forever. It's a cool lick. Other thing I was going to show you today, and. Um, I always do reviews of guitars and stuff. you notice that I'm wearing a strap. My wife uh, makes guitars. I mean, she makes electric guitars. And matter of fact, we're getting ready to uh, uh, have another one completed, which I'll do a video on pretty shortly here. It's really cool. But anyway, you see this? This is called Locket. Uh, I think it's called uh, Locket Guitar Strap. And if you look this up online, I hope the guy's still in business. Like I said, I met him at a, um, a guitar show. You see this little plastic thing in here? So what he did was he invented this thing. You can see this. And so you put your, your strap on like you normally put on. And then you obviously hold this open. When you let that down, that's a lock. You don't need guitar locks anymore. And so never have to worry about your guitar strap coming off. 
Anyway, um, as it turns out, I, he gave me this. And uh, you guys should check it out. Locket Guitar Straps. If you're interested in a, uh, getting a guitar strap and never having to worry about using locks again, it's kind of a cool idea. And the guy doesn't even play guitar. He's just uh, a retired engineer. Locket Guitar Straps. Anyway, today I was playing the big red one, which is the... Um, uh, uh, ES-335 by Gibson and um, I've said this many times in playing this thing ever since I got it um, I have just this has uh, just been a great guitar if you ever get a chance to get one uh, they're just a, a absolute joy to play Gibson uh, ES-335 dot dot in other words this doesn't have the uh, the very impressive inlay and so on and so forth, but it's a beautiful guitar. I love it to death. So I hope all is going well in your world, and I hope you can use that little country uh, um, lick and put it together with some chords, and there you go. I think it's cool. Anyway, till next time, see you later.